Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck and thank you so much for tuning in. Today we'll be doing a start to finish super beginner friendly hair tutorial. This one comes courtesy of Arabella Hair and they sent over this beautiful color 27 water wave lace front wig. I'm going to be installing it and giving you all the tea on how to make it look good on the brown girls like me. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, how I installed and styled this wig, be sure to keep on watching. And also don't forget to hit the description box for even more details and a link to the wig. So here I am just in my bald cap. I've been loving these HD ones, but they don't come in the brown, or at least I haven't found them in a chocolate brown quite yet. So I'm just buffing the foundation powder in my shade um, on top just to make sure it matches. I also like to cut it. Um, sometimes I'll leave it tight, but I've been trying to give my hairline a little bit of break so I cut it in the back so it's a little bit more loose here is the beauty and the star of the show here this one here as I mentioned is from Ara Bella hair this is a 180% density 13 by 4 lace front wig the color is number 27 it is a water wave lace wig in the length 24 inches this is a look at the inside construction of the cap and they did include that elastic band this is just going to help the wig to fit a little bit more tight you can definitely remove it keep it use it don't use it i think it just doesn't hurt to have a little bit more extra protection so i'm so happy they did include this for us in our wig now this is what she looks like on on the website it is marketed as a brown color for me it's more of like a honey blonde color 27 to be exact do you consider this brown or blonde i think it can be considered both as i mentioned i'm going to show you how i like to make it look good on my complexion this is definitely a color that i used to be a little bit more shy about in the past but as of late i just have you know not been afraid of any color at all I'm going to go ahead and set it as a center part. As you guys see, I did go ahead and cut off the excess lace around the ears. And then this is what it looks like. I'm going to definitely warm up the lace towards the end of the video. So don't be nervous. I'm going to make it look good. Trust and believe. Now I'm just going to go ahead and push everything back and work on the parting. You guys know for me, everything has to be flat and laid. You can definitely just use your mousse or your leave-in um, and just add that product around the parting. I've been doing that a little bit more late since I filmed this video, but here I am using the Dynamic Duo. And this is my wax stick from BDACBD.com paired with our electric hot comb. And I'm just going in and just doing as many heat passes as I can to get it nice, flat, and smooth as you do see or notice when you do add heat it does become a little bit more of a darker um, color I'm not gonna lie I almost like that because it just kind of like added a little bit more dimension but this is technically considered heat damage so just be mindful that this hair is color this is a blonde wig so the more heat that you put into it the more you are damaging your hair and it can be you know damaging over time if you will just in general um also now i'm going to just go ahead and bond the wig down for me today i'm going to use the even and this is a glueless adhesive you guys know if you're an og i love to cut off the excess lace first and then bond it down but lately i've been switching it up i apply the product onto the lace directly i put my melt belt on top and i work on the rest of the hair allowing the wig to dry and then i'll cut off the excess lace once it's completely dry in the meantime as i mentioned i do like to work on the rest of the hair while it it kind of gives an air dry here i am adding the two two face concealer um i'll have the, the specific color that i'm using in the description box but you can see that it subtly warmed it up and made it look a little bit more scalp like opposed to being like a little bit too light now i'm just taking some good old h2o and i'm just wetting saturating the hair as i mentioned this is a water wave texture so i definitely wanted to activate those curls if you and then on top of that i'm going to add a little bit of mousse the mousse is key in just pretty much helping to um define the curls if you will and keeping them so that it doesn't revert back to like its natural state if you just want to wet it and then just see it wet and it go back to its natural state then you just would add water but if you want to manipulate the curls and kind of add a little bit of a definition or a hold of 
Um, mousse or a leave-in conditioner are two great options. And this is a before and after. On the left is what we worked on. On the right is it in its natural state. Keep in mind that the front did get a little bit frayed. You guys already know that when you install a wig, the front starts to lose the natural texture. And you just use a little bit of water to bring it back. And again, I'm speeding it up, but I want you to see that it was super simple and easy. There was no like tangling or shedding. Added my product and I was able to get through it. And nothing was like tangled or shedding. Even though the wig is blonde there was nothing weird about it no smells or anything crazy it worked exactly how it should and it's definitely a great quality here I am just using a fan to finish blow drying the hair it definitely wasn't dry yet and so I wanted to make sure I got it really dry and again just styling the rest of the hair went so fast that it didn't or I didn't give the wig enough time to dry completely. You definitely want to make sure that the lace is completely dry before you cut off the excess. So I went ahead and did that and I believe I did go on like a hotter a warmer setting because I was kind of impatient and then I realized I cut off the excess lace but I cut off that ear tap. I'm kind of happy I did because I just honestly don't be having the patience to deal with ear tabs these days but I'm showing you here how to finesse you can take hair from the lace without leaving that extra tab one thing I did not do was I did not go ahead and slick down my natural edges you really want to make sure that your edges are really laid and slicked back before you do the step and that's going to help to camouflage them a little bit better so they are a little bit bulky under there and that's kind of what you see um I've did it I've done it since then and like I said before I slicked them down and it was a lot more of a neat install but more so you're just adding product and like baby hair there so that you don't see any brown if you had a dark root you could kind of get away with it but because there is no dark brown root you don't want to see your natural edges or baby hair at all throughout because it's just going to be a dead giveaway and it's just not going to be too it's going to be too clockable so make sure that you leave the ear tab if that's going to make it better as you guys see here i cut off both and i was able to make it still look good but again just be careful in that sense and I think I did use the got to be glue gel and pulse to edge control to lay those down because I wanted to add a little bit of hold. And once the got to be got to be glue gel dries, it does dry a little bit more on the tacky side. So it'll give a little bit of hold. Now I'm going to go in with baby hair. Again, we already know baby hair is not everyone's preference. You could kind of see the line of demarcation because I have not tinted the lace quite yet I just feel personally especially with blonde I don't want to give Barbie doll where it's like you know just straight to the wig I feel like it looks more like an install when you add a little bit of baby hair especially against my brown complexion I just feel like as a brown girl with blonde or brown light brown hair it just looks better and it looks more done and complete because we already know it's a wig but just making it look really good I personally just think it looks better with a little bit of baby hair now you definitely don't have to go overboard and do anything too thick or too long or just too many at all I did two swoops and I think it looks very subtle because it's blonde it's not dark so you can't really you know it's not going crazy but again it just makes sure that you don't see any lace and it just gives a little bit more of a natural finish in my opinion also be mindful oh also here I am adding the powder but I'm using a kabuki brush I was getting a little oily anyways but I'm using that ruby kisses powder that I typically will use and I love the way it came out I'm going against the hairline and making sure everything has a brown lace tint and I'm just going in a little bit more detail with an eyeshadow brush to really really make sure that everything looks brown as far as the lace goes also you can check out Arabella hair I do have a discount code you can find it in the description box just so I don't get it wrong you can find everything we use there as well even this foundation which is from Ruby Kiss a tip I'll give is that whenever you're using a foundation such as this one be sure to go like a shade darker and that's what gets rid of that white cast when you use a foundation that is pretty much your shade it'll kind of give a white cast in my opinion and make sure that it's cooler tone because when it's red tone it'll just look super red here I'm showing you the back of the wig. The curl pattern on this one or wave pattern really is absolutely beautiful. And here I'm showing you the package. You got your wig caps. You got this cute pearl clip. Super nice detail to it. A pack of lashes. A melt belt that says Arabella. An edge brush. And that's pretty much it. I loved doing this install. I love to switch it up. Of course, brown wigs, blonde wigs are not for everyone. As a brown girl who does hair often or switches my hair often i love to switch it up and this is definitely going to be a fun one to add to the collection 
All the details and everything you need to know about this one are in the description box. Also, I've worked with Arabella Hair a few times, so you can definitely find other videos on my channel from this company. Thank you guys so much for sticking around this long in the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.